What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're gonna go through how Travis Scott's Goosebumps was made on FL Studio. This song took me about a week to remake, so I'm really compressing this down to a watchable video. This beat was made by Cardo, Young Exclusive, and Mike Dean using a Q-Beat sample. So first off, I want to go through how the sample was made, and then we'll go through the actual song. All the presets I'm about to show you are from Omnisphere. So the first one is the pinging cheese delay. It sounds like this. On the mixer, we're adding some RC20 retro color just to make it a bit more distorted and then some parametric EQ2 to bring up the high end a little bit. Playing with that is another preset from Omnisphere called the Christmas Layers. This one's a bit more subtle and I've turned off the B oscillator. So it sounds like this. For effects, we're adding pitch wheel and we're taking it up 12 semitones, but we're leaving the timbre at zero. That creates a really nice effect. Then we're EQing out the lows and the highs and then RC20 retro color. And we're bringing up the tone to 12. So this is what it sounds like without these effects. And then with them. The next thing we have is the piano. This is a reversed piano. The initial preset sounds like this. This preset is from Keyscape. It's the LA Custom C7 Cinematic Piano. And we're taking up the attack to 0.3 seconds. Then we're going inside of the piano roll and we're going to channel pitch, which is inside channel controls. And we're making these pitch bends that go throughout the entire loop. Then the final preset I wanna go through with you is this guitar. It's called the Phasey Baritone Guitar and it plays this E minor chord. We're exporting that pattern and we're chopping it up so it sounds like this without any effects. Then we're really heavily filtering this guitar using some parametric EQ2, some chorus, some retro color. Anyway, it sounds like this at the end. This guitar, like the other guitar that you hear later on in the song, were both played by Mike Dean live, so you can't recreate a live instrument like super accurately, but this is the closest I got to remaking it. Then we're adding some filters to the master just to get the frequencies right, so all together. The stereo width of this sample wasn't quite big enough, so we're adding some Ozone 9 Imager just to bring up the width. So this is the final result. Then coming into the second part of this sample, we have this sub. And I made this on Serum. We're using two different triangle oscillators and the second one has the pitch brought up an octave. Then we're adding MG low 18 to get rid of some of the highs. It will sound like this without any external effects. And we can tell that this is a triangle sub just looking at the waveforms of the original song. But we are adding a lot of distortion using plugins like Fruity Wave Shaper, Camel Crusher, more Fruity Wave Shaper. So with those plugins added, it will sound like this. You might have noticed that there's some reverb going on here and this actually pulsates as it plays so that it stereoizes the sound. If we look at the bass frequencies of the original song, we'll see some pulsating stereo. So you can see that there by making the reverb pulse. It's stereoizing the sound on and off. So that's what you can see here with the remake. It's doing the same thing. Then we have this guitar coming in from Contact. This is from the Electricity library. It's called the Telecaster Amped. I'm not gonna go through all the effects in this one because it's just trying to remake a live guitar. I know this guitar doesn't sound very similar and I probably will lose sleep over it, but this is my best guess at what it sounds like at the end. Next up, we're layering the sample back in and we're playing it with some percussion sounds. So it will sound like this. After that, we're moving into the drop. First off, we have the identical kick, which you can see right here. Watch this, ready? Oh, look how similar that is. Isn't that just so beautiful? This kick is a distorted rack kick. This is the rack kick before you make any changes to it. 
Then we're lengthening this so that it matches with the original song. Then we're going into levels adjustment and taking up the volume multiplier. And the final step is put it on your mixer and add Fruity Soft Clipper. So now it sounds like this. So I exported this and I put it back into the playlist and now it looks like this. Then for the snare, ooh, the snare's a pretty interesting one actually. So the snare was made by layering in a few different snares. So you know the Haas effect where, you, where two things playing together simultaneously sounds like one sound. We're doing that with snares to make this elongated. Then we're layering in this open hi-hat as well. And all together. And in the context of the song, then I'm pretty confident that this is the exact hi-hat that was used. We're using this BWB hi-hat. And that sounds like this. There's this little reverse hat that goes on here. And to make this, just go into your piano roll and make this pattern. And we're putting that in the playlist and we're going render and replace. Then you can just trim that down and reverse it. Then to make that reverse sample a bit more sweet, we're layering in two other hi-hats and they will sound like this at the end. So all together. I'm confident again that this is the actual 808 that was used. And again, you can see this in the waveforms, just looking at it, we're using the Willowful 3 808 and we're chopping out this first section here to get rid of that punch. Then we're looping it at these two points here so that it plays forever. I've already gone through how to loop in a previous video. I'll leave a link to it up there. I'm not going to play you the entire loop, but if you want a video just on 808s and how to make 808 slides, let me know in the comments below and we can do a video just on how to do that. The 808 plays this pattern. Then we're adding that to our mixer and we're putting on Fruity Wave Shaper to add some distortion. Then Parametric EQ2 to cut out some of the lows and the highs. Fruity Soft Clipper to stop it from redlining. And then finally Fruity Limiter to sidechain with the kick. But my favorite part of the 808 is this part right here. That's everything I want to go through in this video today. I know a lot of you requested to see Can't Say and Gaddy which I will be making in future videos. So stay tuned for that. Also, like I said in a previous video, I don't really make a lot of background music. So if you make background music, hit me up on Instagram and I will use it in these videos. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Boy.